This is a really quick video about, uh, we've just covered structures and we're gonna look at the actual changes in structures uh, over oh, maybe the last 10 to 20 years. They're actually becoming what we call flatter. So what that means is there's less levels of management or fewer levels of management. The taller a structure is, the more levels, so you might have a couple of levels of lower management then often you know maybe two three levels of middle management and normally only one one level of uh, one maybe two levels of senior management but the more levels of management there are the harder it is to communicate because the if you're trying to get a message from the top all the way through the organization to the bottom uh, it can well it's going through more people so it's harder to get the direct the exact message all the way through so organizations are becoming a little bit flatter. What that's doing is enabling people to work more in teams and there's fewer managers that have to approve decisions. So often decisions are made quicker, you're more productive because there's less managers to actually say yes to a decision. Uh, so it has a really big impact. Also, it saves the organization lots of money. I'm gonna show you an example right now, actually. So what we've got here is what we call span of control. So let's say, for example, any organization, this particular organization requires 16,000 workers on the bottom level. So to do, if it's manufacturing, they need 16, so it's a quite a large organization. So they need 16,000 people actually working on the bottom level to enable this organization to run. Now. We're going to say that this organization has a span of control of four so that on average each manager is responsible for four people now you can see if you were to draw a triangle here there's quite a few levels so it's quite a tall structure now so it's just simple maths there's a few different ones up here just to make it work perfect but sixteen thousand people span of control of four means there would be four thousand supervisors they would have 1,000 managers, each responsible for four people. 250, so we're getting into middle management here, sort of around the 1,000 mark here. Um, 250, then there's 62 managers above them, 15 managers above them, four managers above them, and solo, there's the managing director or the CEO responsible for everyone. So on the total, um, well, actually, we'll get to the total in a second. So that's quite a tall structure. Now, if you were to double the span of control, instead of each manager being responsible for four people, we get each manager responsible for, on average, eight people. This is what can happen. So even at the top, there's only there's a span of control of four, but let's work backwards from here. So again, the exact same amount of workers on the bottom. This is how many workers we need to do our day-to-day -day work. But we're cutting out lots of the middle management. So if we have a span of control of eight, that means 2,000 sort of supervisors, 250 managers responsible for them, 31 managers responsible for them, and then we keep it the same like the other one, four. Now, now if we look at just, oh, so, shit. Now, if we look just at this middle section here, again, keeping the same amount of workers, we find that over here we have 2,281 employees in our middle management roles. If we go over the other side, and again, just keep the top the same, and we just look at this section here. There's obviously more levels here. We have, in terms of managers, we have 5,327. That is a difference all up of 3,000, sorry, 3,046. 3,046. Now, if each one of those employees, those managers, averaged 
just on average, $80,000 in wages. If we went with this structure here, so a flatter structure, because there's less levels, it is actually going to save this organisation in, just in wages. Let me get this $243,680,000 in wages just by reducing the amount of middle managers and some low, lower managers. So we reduce some of the lower ones and the middle ones. That's very powerful. One, there's less levels for communication to flow through. And two, by increasing the span of control and having a flatter structure, you're working in teams and there's all the other benefits, but also that's a fair savings. So there's lots of reasons why organisations these days are moving towards a flatter structure. Span of control can be very, very powerful.